and I've gone down the ladder. I cannot see. It's pitch dark. I can feel its breath. It's here. It's here with me. Oh! Oh my god! Hi guys, this is Joseph, and I still don't know how to make a good intro, so I'm just gonna get into this video. So this is gonna be part four of me playing uh, The Last Door Season 2 Collector's Edition. Now, I'm just gonna start walking around so I can see if I can find anything. I'll let you guys know if I do find anything. Oh yeah, I remember the gashing jaws of primal horror. Gashing jaws. Jaws. Jaws! Oh my goodness. Um, does this have anything to do with the lions outside? Let's go. Let's go. Oh! I knew it! There's something hidden in the lion's mouth. A lever. I think it's sure there's something inside the matter. There's also a note here. I'll add this clue to the letter. Will you at last know the truth? Could this be the last? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Uh, <clears throat> I'm supposed to be a doctor. I'm supposed to be a doctor. I'm, I'm supposed to be very serious about lots of things. I'm um, pretend like I have no soul, like I'm a mannequin. What? Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh my! What? Looks at Professor Wright's archive. Should bring. I should bring Kuffman. Kuffman here. Okay, man. Kuffman. 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 Here. It was. Here he is. What is this book? <laughs> Experiments, eighteen eighty-five. Let us see. Hmm, I'll take a look at this. Be careful. There's a small key inside the folder. Really? Oh, thanks, dude. After many months of uh, and tedious observation, something has finally come from the other side. I hear a sound of footsteps exploring proximally of the stone archive. Okay. It's been breached. Gone. Okay, what's this supposed to be? It seems to be a log to Professor Kip during one of his experiments. One seven years ago, noteworthy of one of the entries that have been re reenacted. But what's written in there? It cannot be true. There must be some kind of hallucination. A sign of Professor White writes illness, maybe. Perhaps, though we do not jump to conclusions. We can conclude that the Professor has been working has been another working place. Underground. Underground! Like in the beginning of this chapter. Okay, you. Okay, we got a key. Maybe that key will go to. It's gonna be a puzzle. Whoa. Are you kidding me? Do it work. Oh! It's his younger daughter. What? These are changing. Always hit her feelings from her mother. So that would be her mother. Try to support her daughter, but what? But his wife never paid any attention to him. <gasps> oh my gosh, I saw that on my very own! The compartment has opened the wall. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Piles of papers of all kinds, notes, letters, receipts, all mixed up. Many folders. Man. 
Can't save. I still need some time here. Why don't you check out if the key opened the door to the basement? Oh no, sir, I don't want to go in the basement. It's scary down there. You know about me and horror games, they don't mix. Ah, oh, here we go. But I'm telling you guys, if... If... If one thing happens in that basement, I'm screaming. He doesn't work, dude. Dang it. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Uh, move, move, move out of my Oh, no. <laughs> the bit open. It's really dark in here. I feel a cold draft coming from the front. It's too dark. I need something to light the way. Yes, you do. Good. May I ask you something? Of course! Okay, never mind. Okay, um. What? Oh, I could have sworn I could do the matchbox with. Okay, now what do I do? I need, I need someone to light my way. Antique ceiling. It won't open. Okay. Let me go down. Oh, wait, oh, wait. This wasn't the basement. This, 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 this. Okay, I know that. Okay, here we go. Oh! No, no, no! Oh, dang. I thought I was clicking on something there. I'm guessing we're gonna have to light the match every once in a while. Crap! Oh, crap. Well, we had to hurry up. There's gonna be a jump scare. I've run out of matches. Okay. What? What's that noise? There's a jump scare coming in, I know it. Whoa! I've fallen into a hole! Where am I? The flow of the air is stronger here. Looks like a component of some sort of machine. Maybe I can find out where to use it. The radio! I already know that. I already know I'm going to use it. And I'm going to use this. A working lantern. Now I can get out of here safely. Huh! The park tunnel is blocked by a cave-in. This is where the first episode, uh, started. The way is blocked by a cave-in. Thank goodness, a ladder. Don't tell me it's gonna break. Okay, no, it's not. Oh! <gasps> Another one of these! Mechanism, mechanism of some sort. <gasps> I just realized. Oh my gosh! I just realized the 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 opened door. And what are these? Cre like are these like where they cremate bodies? Now I already know I have to go back to the radio. Okay, let's 
Just make sure there's no one behind me. No old furniture left here to rot. Can I access the tunnel mentioned by Professor Wright's blog? How can we find the missing parts of his research? I must talk to Kuffman about this. Kuffman. I was able to use the key to explore the basement. There's a large hole in the floor. One side, one side of the hole might lead to some sort of tunnel, but it was completely covered in rocks. I could not tell for sure. It sounds like as the professor succeeded in blocking the entrance to this underground area. Hmm, this is unfortunate for us. I have made progress alone, my friend. I think this should the ne I should this should be the next step in our research. Have a look. Found something? Taking the same book again, huh? Okay, what is this? Debit card? Today a meeting finally took place. Whoa. Whoa! You see, Mr. Wright, your organism is keenly interested in your research. We could reach an agreement to fund this project. The first one must need to know the details. I understand. The main factor of the container of this test subject. How open is he to suggestions? As you know, the only human mind that can physical that can open a physical passage to the other side. So a complete absolute darkness will be required for the experience to result. A secluded place completely isolated. This can only bring thoughts of what may hi be hiding in the dark. I have, a perf I have a perfect location in mind. But in total darkness and seclusion, how could, you, how could the results of the experiment be studied or confirmed? That's precisely why your organism can provide help. I have... I have designed a special device that will allow me to listen from a safe distance, but I lack the means of malfunction to to malfunction itself. That we could arrange. But there's only one last thing I would like to know. How would the experience be triggered? That means a chemical compound of some kind? Do you mean a serum? Not at all. There would be no <gasps> oh my gosh, I just had a real, I, I just thought, we did it, did we do it the wrong way? Or is he doing that the wrong way? Because we definitely looked through, uh, I'm talking about Devet, uh, through a serum. Oh, I have no idea. The trigger that is in the mind itself, the emotional known as terror, the emotion known as terror. The primal fear, keyword. That will that survives in the depths of our minds from the time humans were mere beasts. That that which allows us to open physical passage beyond the veil. Primal terror is the key. What we will use to open the last door. Wow, beautiful. Could this organization be the playwright? It may be. If so, we are closer to the truth than we thought. But in this room. I have been able to only find some fragments of information discarded material. It looks the main block of documents were moved from this room and hidden somewhere else, the basement tunnel. Seems like the most reasonable conclusion. But access to the place is lost, is it not? The entrance was sealed. There may be another access that we do not know about. If we could find and use the device the professor mentions in his log. Yes, the radio looking thing! And I found one of the parts. And I want to say something earlier, but like the radio thing is like, is like communication from the other side. We might hear Devet. You never know. I believe we could shed some light on this matter. You mean you're just gonna stay there while I go do your work? And if something's different up here. I'm gonna freak out. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I think it'll work now. Whoa! I can hear music. I, can, I heard you come through. Can you come through again, please? Ma'am, what's your name? My name is Jeff.
Get out, Peter. And shut the door. Shut the door, Peter. Get out and shut the door. Whoa! I hear something. I hear the sound. Do my ears deceive me? Is that a piano melody? I'm a seek Cuffman at once. A piano. Not to state the obvious, but it sounds like if someone is still down there playing the piano, of all things. But how is this even remotely possible? I do not know, but this means something important to us. It means that there is another entrance to the underground tunnel, and we must find it. We have, to, we have run out of leads, and you do not find anything to use in the archive. Professor Wright continues to mutter in incorrectly about childhood memories. You must hypnotize the professor. We are running out of options. This might be the only way to find answers we seek. Hypnotize him! Look at the candle. Fix your eyes upon it. Your body is as light as a feather. I'm hypnotizing him right now. Everything around you fades. You are entering dark, endless void. I'm hypnotizing him. He grabbed it. He grabbed it. Oh. Are we gonna play his flashback? Oh. Listen to my voice. Where are you? Oh. We're entering. A great number of trees surround me. The sun is setting soon. I can go north and west. Go north. I stand beside a waterfall. It is not water that falls, but mud and rock from a great height. They fall and fall into a bottomless abyss. Behind the waterfall is the east lies a tunnel. To the west I see the edge of a forest. I am in a dark tunnel. Oscar is here as well. He is upset. He yells at me. He begs me to stop. The tunnel divides into many passages. I can go north, south, and west. Go west. I stand beside a waterfall. Oh. Okay. Go uh, south. A great number of trees surround me. The sun is setting soon. I can go north or west. Go west. I'm on a beach. Huge rock there. Many birds circle the sky overhead. To the north I see a shore. To the west I see a person. West. As soon as I approach the figure darts between the rocks as if he thought it were frightening frightened of me. Tom go back. Okay, go north. Stand beside the shore. Yes, I know. I know that. Um a body floats in the water. I will not look upon its face. Okay, south. Okay, um, go east. Great number of trees around me. Send it to I can go north or west. Go elsewhere. I stand among tall trees. They stare at me silently. They have found me guilty. I do not wish to stay here. Go back. Great number of trees surround me. Okay. Okay, let's go elsewhere. Go back. Oh, wait, what?
Okay, go back. Go west. On the beach. Go east. Okay, so north. Okay. West. Oh, I understand it's out of shore. And to know something floats in the water. To the east, I see an edge of a forest. Stand beside the waterfall. Okay. Tell me again. Stand beside the waterfall. Around the water to the east. East. I'm in a dark tunnel. Tun Okay. Go north. I'm in a large open space with a piano. Something stands next to the piano. I can't see it clearly. Its face. Tunnel stretches into the dark. Walk down the tunnel. There's a very small room in the center that lies in the deep pit. A ladder goes up. It. It's so dark. Down there it lies. It waits. It will not continue. I must go back. I will not continue. I must go back. Go down the ladder. I cannot. I can hear it with me. It's breath. Dear Lord, I must flee. You must continue. It waits for me. It waits down there. A monster? I have gone down the ladder. I cannot see. It's pitch dark. I can feel its breath. It's here. It's here with me. Oh! Oh my gosh! Wait. Enough. You went too far. You or I, I don't think he would... You did well in stopping the trance. I think it would be best if we leave it for today. Let's return to the inn. Reflect tonight on what we have witnessed here. Tomorrow we will discuss the next, step in, the next steps in our investigation. January 21st. One more day into my birthday. Whoa. Whoa, where are we? Come in. Whoa, homie! Uh, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to voice crack. Cuffman, are you alright? Worry not, Wakefield. I'm just feeling a bit feeble. It, m it must be all this cold and humidity. <coughs> n n nothing serious. I would like to know your opinion that what we have heard during this yesterday's session. Do you remember anything that could help us in our search? Um, the underground tunnel. I agree. The horror he experienced at the end of the session was far too intense to drive Solacy from his imagination. It speaks of some trauma. Okay, the seaside. Yes, that is true. Maybe the entrance of the tunnel is somewhere close to the coast. The mysterious figure. Yes, indeed, but I am too afraid to soon unveil the true meaning of those images. Professor Wright mentioned a man that shouted at him near the entrance to the tunnel, beginning begging him not to continue. I can rem cannot remember his name. Very good. It was Oscar. We should attempt to find him. He may know something about Professor Wright's fears. We can find this man. I am sure we will shed some light upon this mystery. Why don't you go to the village? And try and find out something about Oscar. <coughs> my, my apologies, but I must stay here and recover my strength. You look at pale as heck, too. <gasps> the inn or the town square? Oh, that's where we're staying. So, town square. Whoa. I should probably read what this is first. The fisherman's loo. Okay. Oh crap. Uh, let's start talking to people. Good morning. Let me drink in peace. Are you a ship captain? Why? What is it to you? Do I look like a captain? With three earrings. 
You have doubled the three caps, is that right? Indeed, I have, but hopefully when in horror before, I could not hide to stand the two four kings into against the wind. If I die to see those rings may pay my wake, but no, I will not let that happen now. Do you mean you will not set sail again? I love to see more than any I love to see more than anything. It is my passion, my freedom, and my life. But there are many things about him that we do not know. There are far from coast and the deep dark that we will are still unprepared to behold. Believe me, those things await deep down. Have you seen any of those things? No, but you may have heard one or two stories about fishermen tell about about things seen out here. It is not but tales of the youngins, most mere superstition for men too cowardly to face the dark. Any good seaman knows that in the strong wind the stretched open rope can be, can shake and sing. I myself have mistaken such keying for the wail of a child, but there was one time, one time there was nothing of the sort. Then the sea howled. It was not thunder, but a strong wave clashing with my ship. No, it was like a voice that spoke to me in a language I cannot describe. Sound muttered by a living something, caught on like anything I've ever heard before, and I understood. What did you understand? I understood that there was no freedom, no more freedom for me. The sea, the sea now had other lords, and whoever they are, I didn't know they would not, they would not share it. What happened then? As I navigated back to the shore, I lost control of my ship in the great storm. The rocks and the cliffs did not rest. I do not know where the remains of my dear. I met my dear friend and ended up, but with the passage of years and tides, I looked for them once for many moons, but all I found was this bar at the bottom of empty glass. I would never have returned to the source since maybe she forgave me. Now leave me be. I'll leave you alone. A lady dressed in rather intelligently for someone who came to a drink at a place like this. The sea fishermen have given me a suspicious look. We all take him from the helm of the ship, perhaps a trinket in the owner's days of the ship. Bottles of rum. Okay. Good morning. You want a drink? A man named Oscar. You mean Father Oscar? You can find him in the church. He's not when he's not here. It's right outside. Okay, I'm gonna go real quick. Godspeed. Okay, church. No. Oh crap! No, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's go back to town square. What? Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! They're probably like strangers. Strangers. They kill us. Strangers probably. Strangers always kill us. Wait, wait. Snow. Okay. Whoa. Wait, did I see a door? Yeah, yes, I did. It's a. A door of the church. It's closed. Dang it, it's closed. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to do a lot of work here. In regards of boats. An old rotting boat. An old rotting. Okay. Well, I'm looking for something I can pick up. Whoa. An old rusty bronze bell. Someone may be able to tell me more about it. Okay. An old ship completely wrecked. Dang. 
From far from the distance, I can see a lonely tree bent by the wind. Okay. Some abandoned wood planks. Okay, let's go ask the sea captain about this one. Why the bells of, of from Augusta? My Augusta, where on earth did you find it? I found it on the beach near the shipwreck, you dummy. I thought I would never see it again. I will clean it and make it shine anew. Workport Beach? Our oh, beach? Why, I must go. I must go straight away. Oh, don't be returned with, reunited with my poor Augusta. Of what will remain of her? No, I dare not. Oh. Oh, but I must. Good day to you, sir. Sir, sir, hey, 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 Scrooge, Scrooge, hey, hey. Scrooge, wait, 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 wait up. You might have to be a duck or Mr. Hyde for some reason. Don't ask me why, but he just does. Probably going to be here. He is here. The old ship completely wrecked. Oh, this old. Neither the cracks in your hull nor the flaking paint. None of its matters. You are beautiful as ever, August. Today we will watch the sunset together. Good sir, I cannot put to the words what a great service you've returned. This drunken naive. Just as you, a stranger, have brought me to my lost treasure. May this old sailor spyglass, in whatever way it can, help the light in which way to yours take it as a gift, a gift from the heart. That telescope. Well guys, this seems like a good place to end the episode. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you are new, please be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. So, uh, I have nothing else to say, um, so, um, bye bye